Hey guys, so I just came across an issue with my MacBook uh, where one of the files I recorded for it, a movie file, is apparently corrupted for everything besides my MacBook. Now, I have a solution for this, so I'll show you guys how to fix it. So, just to be more, uh, more specific, so you guys see these files right here, or this file up here. Hey guys. Oops, didn't mean to press that, didn't mean to start it. So with these files, you guys see that they have the regular uh, preview window. So you have a preview of the uh, video file. Now for this one, this is the one that's corrupted right here. And it has a QuickTime, <clears throat> excuse me. So all these files are MOV, as you guys see at the end, MOV. But this one has this QuickTime thing. Uh, so when I try to upload it to YouTube or uh, transfer it to my Android, my PC, it just does not work. It's corrupted. So a fix for that, again, if I double click on it and if I play it, hey guys. okay, so in this case, it plays fine. But again, for everything besides the Mac, it does not work. So the solution for this is what you want to do, uh, just open up iMovie. So right here is iMovie. And if you can't find that icon, then just click here and search for uh, click in the top right for the search and then search for iMovie. It will be already installed on your uh, MacBook. So go and open it up. Now, right here, if you have not used iMovie before, then right here is where you're going to uh, import it. Or you can just press File Import. So you want to import the file that's corrupted. So this is that file that's corrupted. And then after you import it, you're just going to drag it down here to the project uh, project timeline and then export it you're just going to press here in the top right corner this share button so after that i mean you can export it directly to youtube but uh, i just prefer making its own file so i'm going to press on file and then what you're going to do um is you're going to press next Actually, hold on. I'm going to press cancel. Um, let me just make sure that these... Yeah, so I mean, you, you can adjust the quality. I just put it on the best version, but by default, it's high. So I just put it on the best version. But aside from that, like, I'm just doing a straight export. So that's a setting that I'm going to use. And then you can press next. And then just make up a name for it. So I'm just going to call it uh, V2 Movie just to make it easy to spot it. And I saved it right here to the desktop. So then just press save. Now in the top right corner, it's gonna be uh, saving to the desktop. So just wait a few seconds for it. So this um, circle right here. And by the way, guys, I think it's a bit loud in here. I think, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there's someone walking in the apartment upstairs there's rain going on but uh, I think the MacBook actually probably won't pick most of it up I think it's probably only the short nearby stuff now high quality I think should be enough if you want to if you want to do high quality that should be enough but I think that best is the closest uh, closest to the actual resolution of the uh, actual resolution of the original file so that's what I'm going with all right, so just a few seconds here. Yeah, and you know, I'm not sure what actually causes this problem, but uh, at least th this is a solution for it. All right, so now it's done, and you guys see we have that little prompt in the top right. So I'm going to press the X. And yeah, so you guys see right here. So now the file looks like this as it's supposed to and not like this. So yeah guys, hopefully this helped out.